australia while working as a qantas flight attendant she's terrified of going back to jail judge paul conlon said he found her lawyer's plea for home detention almost laughable saying allowing them to sit home and watch ellen at midday is hardly a punishment but although the judge said only a custodial sentence would be appropriate sue ellen crier may still avoid prison time all three family members are being assessed to have their sentence served in the community with possible community service it sounds like you might avoid jail though that would yeah, be a relief that would be one for jane as a party nbn news over to kate haberfield now for a quick look at the sport and kate a very rare friday night footy treat for knights fans sure is the night's only prime time friday night match at home this season guys Friday night footy is back in Newcastle and it's a clash between the Knights and the Eels, two teams desperate for a win. Stephen Mount joins us live from McDonald Jones Stadium and Steve, all the talk is about the return of Knights halfback Mitchell Pearce. Yes, yes, it certainly is made a lot of weight on the young man's shoulders and to tell us all about it, Amanda knows only too well. Former Knights captain and wrestler of retired Kate Gidley. Hi, Mary. Hi, kids. Uh, Mitchell, Mitchell Pearce, uh, big Continue at Kia with these promising offers, like the Serato 
SOS in final run out from only 19990 drive away with free auto. Hurry into your local Kia dealer today. Here's big news from OMF. Our size does matter sale has been extended. Get a minimum of 10 up to 70% off everything. No exceptions, no exclusions. Just 10 to 70% off everything. Must end someday at OMF. were created. That's more than 1,100 a day. So if you're a small to medium business owner who's wondering about the next step or is changing business needs, there are government initiatives to help you hire, including financial incentives of up to $10,000 to employ eligible staff. If you're ready to get your business growing, go to jobs.gov.au. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. It's Amart Furniture's mid-year clear So make room with up to 40% off selected bedroom and lounges, living and dining, office and more. Limited time only, so visit in-store for these offers and loads more. On now at Amart Furniture. New shopping center in Mexico City. Part of the multi-story complex collapsed without warning only months after its grand opening. Remarkably, there are no reports of any casualties. Japan's flood crisis is now known to have claimed at least 200 lives. Heavy rain has been falling across the west of the country for more than a week, triggering major landslides in the Hiroshima and Okayama areas. The UN has offered to help Japan in the search and recovery operation. An explosion at a chemical factory near Cairo Airport has injured 12 people. The blast set fuel tanks on fire and forced the airport to suspend flights for several hours. No word yet on what caused the explosion. These people seem unaware of the approaching danger, but watch the green awning on the right of the screen as a tornado roars through a rural property in Ukraine. As the canvas disappears, a teenage boy is thrown into the air and then lands flat on his face, Apparently, none the worse for wear. There's been a surprise snubbing for Australians at this year's Emmy Awards, with Nicole Kidman and Naomi Watts both missing out on nominations. Sydney-born Yvonne Strahovski received our only major nod as streaming service Netflix dominated. She's the sinister star of The Handmaid's Tale, who shone on a dark day for Australians in Hollywood. <sighs> Yvonne Strahovski first appeared on our screens opposite Lisa McCune in Sea Patrol. You must really enjoy this stuff out in the elements. Yeah, I love it. Now, nominated for Best Supporting Actress at TV's Emmy Awards. I'm just so excited for everybody tonight. Last year, Nicole Kidman stole the show. I want my little girls to have this on their shelf and to look at it and go, every time my mama didn't put me to bed, it's because of this. This year, she'll be a no-show. Naomi Watts, Hugo Weaving, Portia de Rossi and comedian Jim Jeffries, all highly fancied, all snubbed. Instead, the awards are said to be dominated by dragons. Game of Thrones with 22 nominations, including for Best Drama, Multiple Acting Awards, Best Directing and Writing, Sci-Fi Westworld and Comedy Store Awards Saturday Night Live with 21 each. For the first time this year, a streaming service led the way, Netflix beating out traditional giants, finishing with 112 nominations. The awards will be handed out on September 17th. In Los Angeles, Charles Croucher, NBN News. Australia has always punched above its weight in Hollywood. Now, in a bold move, we've produced a sci-fi blockbuster, and two Novocastrians have played a lead role in making it. It's opening night for a bold adventure in film. I guess it's important to document the end of the world. Novocastrian actor Zach Garrett on the red carpet for the premiere of Occupation, an independently financed and produced sci-fi blockbuster. In Australia, it is it is difficult to, of course, to get a film up, let alone two. But the fact that we were greenlit so quickly, again, is a testament to the work and talent of the people around us. 